Uh, hey, introduction to social problems class. So here we are. I am quarantining currently <laughs> until we can get my results back. I might have been exposed to COVID-19. So I am making this video so you guys can continue on with your work um, and we can continue to discuss uh, social problems. Um, I'm going to pull up the uh, current PowerPoint for some of the things that you guys need to be uh, looking over inside the class. Okay, so let's see. Let me go to our Start Here module in Blaze View. Uh, let's check out the course schedule. So today is the 27th of January. Um, today we would be continuing to address Chapter 1. I started talking about Chapter 1 uh, last week when we met in class, um, but uh, we didn't finish it. So I'm going to continue going over it. Let me see here. Uh, let me pull up the PowerPoint. Goodness. And this will be kind of like your video to watch um, to kind of, we talked about social institutions, how um, a social institution uh, can be anything uh, as marriage, education, labor market, government, anything like that. Um, Let's see if I can share my screen. I'm not sure if there's a way for me to do that on here. No, I don't think so. Okay, so a couple, let me see where we stopped off. Intersectionality, we talked about the hierarchy of class. We talked about what a social problem is. Um, objective, subjective. I tell you what, this is what I'll do. Um, I'm going to include another video. It's not going to be over the PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to include a video just kind of explaining introduction to sociology and what it is and um, something a little fun. Um, I'll also include uh, the social stratification video um, so you can review that. We we watched that last week in one of the classes. I want to say in the um, uh, 630 class we watched it but I don't think we watched it in the five o'clock class so I will um, upload that video as well um, just just to be clear the PowerPoint is located online so you can download the PowerPoint it's in module two you can download the PowerPoint for chapter one you can look through it it goes over highlights of the book but the most important thing that I need you guys to be doing is you have to be reading the chapter reading the chapter is going to be a lot more enriching. It's going to be a lot more beneficial. Um, it's going to help you understand the material better. And the book that you have uh, by Javier Trevino is, is actually a really easy read. It's a very good introduction to social problems book. So please read chapter one. Next week, fingers crossed, I should have my results back and I am like totally hoping for a negative result. Actually, you know, you never know with these things, but I honestly don't think I have it. But just to be safe, didn't want to expose myself to you guys. Next week on Wednesday, we'll be back in the classroom in Jeanette Hall. And, and I can answer questions for you. And I think that will be more enriching if you can pull questions out of the chapter and we can have a conversation about it as opposed to me just lecturing the whole time. Of course, I know I'm going to have to lecture a little bit because it's an intro class and we've got to kind of understand some of those bold place, place, uh, bold place prints. <laughs> it's late, sorry, uh, in the text. But at the same time, I, I really want to engage with you guys. I want to know what interests you in, in the sense of society and culture and social problems and what we're experiencing in today's climate and what you're experiencing. It doesn't have to be as big as, as politics. You know, it can be something within your family. You know, if you want to talk about family dynamics, religious dynamics, having a difference of opinion within your family um, over your beliefs or values or raising your children or whatever, you know, it can be anything about the pandemic. Should we get the vaccine? Should we not? You know, it could be all sorts of questions like that. So I think the best way to learn material is to find how it can relate to you personally. When we can make that kind of uh, connection between what we're studying and apply it to our lives, oftentimes we can create more meaning and have a little bit more motivation and wanting to learn about it. Social Problems is a really fun class because we can take it anywhere. Okay, I just use the textbook as a guide to get us from point A to point B so we can understand the basic standards 
uh, so that when you take your exam, you're understanding what it is, uh, what sociology is and what that means, okay? All right, read chapter one, look at the PowerPoint, you know, I'll upload a fun video to watch to help if you want to watch it, and then we'll meet again next Wednesday. And again, my deepest apologies. We're living in a COVID world, and this is just going to happen, okay? All right, guys, if you have any questions, shoot me an email through Blazeview. Take care.